Uh, hi, Nuno. Uh, first of all, I guess you sit here on the eve of a new Premier League season at the start of a, a new reign, a, a new club for you. How are you feeling and how's the first six weeks been at Tottenham? It's been good. Everybody is feeling good and working very hard, preparing ourselves. And we are almost ready to go. We, we start on Sunday. And what are you expecting in your first game? I mean doesn't get much harder than facing the champions in the first game. What are you expecting from this City side? And also, uh, what are you expecting the threat of their new signing, Jack Grealish, to be? We expect a tough match, a very tough match, of course. Quality players, very talented squads. We expect a tough match, like all the matches in the Premier League, all the matches in the Premier League, and uh, all the squads have very good players. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about um, Harry Kane. Uh, he's back in training today, I've seen. Um, have you had a chance to sit down with him? And can you tell us a little bit more about that conversation and how it went? Yeah, Harry joined, joined the group today. He trained. We, we had a talk. Of course, it's a private conversation, but everything is, is okay. He's preparing himself, um, like Brian, like Romero, players that join us later. We have to be careful, but everything's okay. And is he available for, for selection Sunday? We still have the session of tomorrow to decide, like I mentioned to you, Romero, Brian, players, Harry, players that don't have too much and too many sessions with us. We have to, to think and we still have the day of tomorrow to make the decisions. OK, and let's talk about his future. Obviously, there's been a lot of speculation surrounding that. Um, you know, do you expect Harry Kane to be a Tottenham player at the end of the transfer window? He's here with us. He's here with us. He's a Tottenham player. So it's here with us. Um, and we have to think about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's prepare the training session of tomorrow and we go day by day. But all the players that have worked with us are our players. OK, and moving on, can I ask about uh, Tango Ndombele? He hasn't featured in your five preseason games, wasn't in the squad against Arsenal. Um, is there a reason behind that? And has he still got a future at Tottenham? There's always a reason in all the decisions that we make. There's always a why, because we, we think, we talk, and then we decide. And we believe that um, Tangi didn't perform in the pre-season matches because we consider that it's not the right moment for him to, to be with the group in terms of competition. OK, and I know there's lots of questions to be asked, so I'll try and uh, I'll just finish off now. I know there's lots of speculation around uh, new players, new incomings coming in. Are you still active in the transfer window? And if so, are there any specific areas that you're looking to improve in the squad? The squad needs balance. We have a very talented squad, but it needs to be balanced and uh, we know, everybody knows, Fabian and Stevie are working very hard, but like I say, um, it's always hard to improve something that is good and we have to be really, really accurate on the players that we bring because it has to bring things that we believe can make us better and stronger and it's not easy because we have quality players with us. Okay, thanks Nuno, I'll pass over to others. Thank you, James. Thanks, James. We'll go to Lindsay Hooper from PLP, please. Hi, Nuno. Hello. Um, Manchester City had a slower start last season. They tended to grow into it as the season went on when they became more prolific. In your opinion, is this a better time to play them as an opening fixture? It's the time that the schedule says. We have to play all the opponents of the Premier League two times. Two times. We start with City. And uh, it's about us. We know that we're going to face a tough opponent, a quality opponent, but it's about us. The things that we want to, to do in the game, the, the way we want and the how we want to, to compete. We are focused on, on ourselves and, and trying to, to be a good team. Should players and fans alike read too much into your first team selection looking ahead to the rest Sorry. of the season? Your Sorry, first. Lindsay, uh, your first yeah. team selection, should players and fans of Spurs read too much into that for the first game of the season, looking ahead? No, oh, every match we have to decide. We're going to play Sunday. We still have the, the session of tomorrow to decide. 
there's no reading behind that. It's, it's who and how we believe that we should compete. In terms of your wingers, you've got Bergvine and Mora, who did very well in pre-season. Will they have a more attacking role this time? <clears throat> they are attacking players. They are attacking players like like Harry, like Brian, um, players that they need they need to to perform on on the on the final third of the pitch. So it's up to us as a team to try and create and and build and produce. Um, chances for them to do what they do best. They are so talented, uh, and I expect, of course, that uh, the main part of their game be on our f on offensive part. But their tasks also uh, are defensive in terms of shape, in terms of recovering, reaction to loss of the ball. The game is so dynamic that um, so many times players are out of position and they have to to, to perform and do the tasks inside of the team. Finally, have you managed to have many one-on-one -on -one sessions with players in terms of just meetings or, or on the training pitch, just one-on-one? One-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, four-on-four, one-on-twenty, one-on-twenty-five. It's, uh, it's the way we work. We speak uh, constantly. My way is about dialogue, is about um, listening a lot and then work is like is what I, I do most is work. Thank you, Nino. Thank you. Thanks, Lindsay. We'll go to Ian Abrahams from Talk Sport, please. Hi Nuno, how are you? Hello. Um can you explain the confusion for us over when Harry Kane returned? Because there was that Monday when he didn't show up for training, and then there were stories that Spurs might find him. And then come the Friday, Harry put out a statement last Friday saying, well, actually, I've been in America. I wasn't due back till this week. And then I'll be isolating at the lodge before taking my, my coronavirus test. Yeah, I think there's no confusion at all. Harry had to, to be, he submit himself to the protocols of the quarantine. He had to be in isolation. Uh, he did it here in the lodge. It was a long period that he had to be by himself. Not easy at all. Um, then we had the negative test and he joined the group. The confusion though came on that first Monday. Everybody seemed to think he was due back on that first Monday. And, and, it, and it, well, when, he, when he wasn't, there was no statement from, from anybody saying, well, actually, don't worry, he's not due back till next week. That's what I'm trying to get at, that confusion. Yeah, but that is your confusion. It's not our confusion. Um, are you happy having a player in the squad who doesn't want to be at the club. Uh, and I know in a horrible way. Regarding Harry, Sorry? are you happy have, are you happy having a player at the club who is is perceived doesn't want to be at the club this season? Look my job my job is to prepare Tottenham players the best that I can. I don't have any, I don't have any uh, concern on trying to convince players to play for Tottenham. Because it's such a huge club, such a fantastic club, that we should be proud of being here. So my job is to prepare players. They they know that is the way we work. Prepare them every day, every day. Two years ago, Spurs were in the Champions League final. What what Nuno you know, is the ambition for this season for you, realistically for Tottenham? Tomorrow, the training session of tomorrow. We don't go beyond that. Preparing well tomorrow, the training sessions. I think you know me already. Yeah, I do. And finally, can I just ask you, a couple of couple of weeks left of the transfer window, are there still players you want to, to get in and out? Are you going to be someone that we need to keep an eye on very closely between now and the end of the month? As, uh, it's, it's easy to understand. Meanwhile, the transfer market, the transfer window is open. We have to be very, very, very um, aware of that because sometimes you have to react, sometimes you have to act. And when I say act, I mentioned already our squad, beyond being um, talented and quality, we need to balance. And there are positions that need, that need to, to be well balanced in terms of what we look for all the year. But we have to be realized that anything can happen in football anything can